Hello and welcome to our Sunday evening newscast. I'm Daniel Che. Let's begin with President Bakanes return to home soil. She has come back to Seoul after a four-day visit to Washington, which included her fourth summit with U.S. President Barack Obama. Our Hwang Sung-yi takes a closer look at the key outcomes from the president's latest trip. The presidential office of Chongwade said Sunday South Korea and the U.S. reaffirmed their alliance during President Park's visit to Washington. For the first time, the two allies adopted a joint statement solely on North Korea, a sign of their strong commitment against Pyongyang's nuclear weapons program. The joint statement details Seoul and Washington's action plan against Pyongyang, which includes strong counteraction against further provocations while remaining open to dialogue. The summit was also an opportunity to brush off any speculation that South Korea's recent cozy ties with China have fractured its alliance with the U.S. Uh, we want. Uh, South Korea to have a strong relationship with China, just as we want to have a strong relationship with China. Uh, President Obama added that the U.S. expects South Korea to speak out if China fails to abide by international norms and rules. On the economic front, the presidential office said Seoul has secured Washington's consent for Korea's possible participation in the Trans-Pacific Partnership. With the negotiations for the 12 nation trade pact, which includes the U.S. and Japan, having wrapped up recently, some have voiced criticism about Korea's isolation in the new global economic order. President Park has another key diplomatic event ahead as Korea prepares to host its first trilateral summit with Japan and China in more than three years, slated for early November. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.